It's another fun edition of doing a reaction to SML. So today we are reacting to SML movie, The Final Destination. So I knew I just had to play the waiting game and then SML was coming out with a new movie today. So you know what that means. Tomorrow we're doing The Parish, The Sacrifice, and No Mercy on Love for Dead 2. So I'm going to can the chatter, get into this reaction. Let's do this, right? Right, let's do this. All right, all our bags are packed. Oh, Marvin, I'm so excited to go to St. Louis, Missouri. If we're going to Missouri, why are you dressed like you're going to the beach? Because we are going to the beach, Marvin. There's no beach in St. Louis. <laughs> Marvin, prepare to be wrong. Check this out. What's that right next to the arch? That's right, it's a beach. Can you imagine floating in a pool floaty and looking up at the arch? I think that's heaven, Marvin. Well, that looks like a river. Yeah, the Mississippi. I can't wait to go snorkeling and eat Mexican food. Oh, Marvin, they have the best Mexican food. I, I swear, it's like they hop the border and come straight to St. Louis. So you've been to St. Louis before? Yeah, we go every summer. Boyney says it's the cheapest beach you can go to. Yeah, it's amazing, Marvin. See in the picture? There's nobody else there. It's like having your own private beach just for you and also that barge. Okay, well, why don't we go somewhere more tropical, like Oklahoma? Marvin, everybody's going to be swimming in the beaches of Oklahoma this time of year. You know where they're not going to be? St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, well, let's not miss our flight. Grab your bags. Yeah, we got to hurry up. We have a Southwest flight, and it's like riding a bus. There's no assigned seating. It's just first come, first serve. So we might not actually even be sitting together. I swear, if I get seated next to a crying baby, I'm going to punch it in the face. Well, if you punch it, it's going to cry more. Not if I punch it hard enough, Marvin. <laughs> Just kidding, but maybe I'm not. Come on, let's go! How lucky of us that we all get to sit together in one row. I know, isn't it great, Marvin? Danny, what would happen if the plane crashed into a building? Or Jeffy, don't say stuff like that. What well, happened three times, almost four. Jeffy, that was a long time ago. Yeah, Jeffy, it's not going to happen, so shut up. All right, one more question. How do we know that the pilot didn't catch his wife cheating on him and he's about to crash the plane on purpose to get back at life? Oh, I'm starting to freak out, Jeffy! Oh, calm, calm down, calm down. It's not going to happen. They scream the pilots every, every day, I think. Ugh, I hate sitting in the middle seat. And I'm sitting next to a baby. Fungus, sit down. What the fuck? You named your baby Fungus? Well, would you like to sit next to Fungus? No, she likes the window seat. Okay, well, do you want to switch seats with me so I can sit on the end and you can sit with Fungus? No, I like the aisle seat. Oh, yeah, that makes fucking sense. Mama! 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 I, I think Mama! it wants your attention. Mama! That's okay. She's self-soothing. She'll calm down in 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, that is fucking perfect. Hey, you think you could cry louder? I don't think my eardrums have ruptured yet. Where? 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 How do you like it? Where? Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? Yeah, I'd like a bomb so I can blow this plane up. Sir, you can't say bomb on an airplane. Oh, sorry. Well, can I at least get some earplugs then? Oh, shoot. I just gave away my last pair. Oh, were those people also sitting next to a screaming baby? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sure they needed it way more than I do. Oh, uh, one more thing. Um, hypothetically, if I were to punch this baby, would I still be able to go to St. Louis? No. Oh, I'm trying. That baby sounds like it's being murdered. Hey. What? Go back to your seat. Um, I just punched a baby over there, and now the flight attendant is saying I have to switch seats. Would any of y'all mind switching seats with him? Uh, Rose, you want to switch seats with him? Sure, I'll sit by a baby. Wait, really? I get a window seat? I gotta start punching babies more often. Oh, Marvin, this is the perfect way to start a vacation to St. Louis, Missouri. I'm on a Southwest flight right next to my best buddy. Hey, Marvin, what do you think the odds are that the flight attendant will suck me off in the bathroom? What? No, nah, no, nah, I'm just kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy. That wouldn't happen. It's crazy. But maybe, right? No, no, no. I, I wouldn't let it get that far. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Well, Marvin, it sounds like the captain's having a rough day. But don't worry, he'll cheer right up as soon as we land in St. Louis, Missouri. Happiest place on earth! Oh, bumpy takeoff. Well, it's really, 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 really bumpy takeoff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna crash it. What? It's gonna be full. Wee 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 wee. Wait, I thought I punched you. Can I get y'all anything before takeoff? You already asked us that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. 
This is your captain speaking. I just want everyone to know that last night I caught my wife cheating on me with three black guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Prepare the cabin for takeoff. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That means, that means this plane's gonna crash. I need to get off this plane. Wait, 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 come on. Mar Marvin, Marvin Rose, Jeffy. Marvin, Marvin, Jeffy Rose. I just had a vision that this plane is gonna crash. Well, it's gonna crash? Yeah, I had a That's So Raven moment. We need to get off this plane. Okay, what about your wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, Karen, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, look at that. I left my bag. See, isn't it good that we got off that plane? Why'd you make us get off the plane? We missed our flight. Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Yeah, what the hell is going on, Boiny? Well, I had a vision that the plane was going to crash. You daydreamed the plane crashing until you made us all miss our vacation? No, it wasn't a daydream. It was really realistic. Like, I punched this baby in the face, and then I came and sat with Marvin, and then the pilot said he was sad, and then he crashed the plane. It sounds like you fell asleep in your seat and had a bad dream. No, trust me. I could not have fallen asleep with that baby screaming at me. Boiny, you ruined our summer vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are going to thank me when that plane crashes. I don't think that plane's going to crash. Planes don't crash anymore. Planes are very safe. Look, the news! Breaking news, McKay. A plane, during takeoff, drove off the runway and crashed into a building, killing all 180 passengers on board. Oh, oh my God. God! How horrible! Those poor people! Yes! Yes, I was right! Yes, face, 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 face! Oh, yeah, you guys didn't believe me, but then I whipped out the dick of truth, and I was like, oh! all over you guys oh, oh yeah i was like the plane's gonna crash and you were like no -uh. and then you know what happened it blew up it crashed and yes i know i'm being a little insensitive because 180 people died but i know five motherfuckers who didn't right marvin right we are alive yes because of me because of how right i was i'm totally gonna use this at parties i'm gonna be like hey you know that plane that crashed i was on it until i got off because i had a bad feeling i like making stuff about me you know like whenever i see a car accident on the news and i'm like i drive on that street all the time that totally could have been me, but it wasn't. But I'm still going to make a Facebook post about how it could have been. Yummy the likes. Oh, God, I love being right so much. Okay, Karen, come on. Let's go home and you make me dinner to celebrate how right I am. I cannot believe we just escaped death. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Boiny, your taquitos will be ready in about 20 minutes. Yummy, taquitos. I like those. I know you do, Boiny. Oh, Boiny, whose dollar and one penny is this on the counter? It's mine, Cameron. Don't touch it. Okay, well, I'm just going to move it out of my... Oh, 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 no! Boiny, Boiny, I dropped your penny down the garbage disposal! Well, you're going to get it, goddammit. That's a Taquitos, we can always just get Uber Eats. Karen? Jeez. Oh, oh God, you definitely burned the taquitos. It smells like a burning body. Well, Karen, I'm going to go over to Marvin's house. Definitely not a strip club. It's definitely going to be Marvin's house. Uh, no strip clubs for me. Just Marvin. Okay. Marvin, it's just so sad those people died today. We could have died. I know, but we didn't. We got off the plane, so just be grateful we're alive. Oh, hey, Dad, look how high I'm jumping. Jeffy, no jumping on the trampoline in the living room. Oh, trampoline dick. Found jumping down and shit. Seriously, Jeffy, people lost their lives. There's no mood to jump on a trampoline right now. But jumping on your trampoline makes me feel better. Dang, how high you think I can jump? <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, I didn't see! Oh, and Jeffy was jumping on the trampoline, he got decapitated for the silly fan! Oh my god, Jeffy! Yeah, that, more of that! Oh, oh no! Oh, what, what do we do? I'm gonna go take a bath! What, a bath? Yes, I'm gonna take a bath because I'm sad! But you don't take a bath and you see someone die? Marvin, it's my sad bath time! <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do! I gotta call number one. Uh, why do I call number one? He's already dead. There's no saving him. He's dead. His head's completely off. What do I do? Stomach discomfort due to... Oh, this bath is making me feel so much better. Oh, I'm gonna watch TikTok on my phone. <laughs> 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 
Hey, buddy, I think my wife burned dinner. You want to come to the strip club with me? I just saw my son get decapitated by a ceiling fan. Well, that's why we don't put trampolines under ceiling fans. There you go, buddy. What do we learn? You don't care that my son is dead? Well, listen, you're not the only one dealing with the dead body, okay? I'm pretty sure my wife fell into an oven and got cooked to death. You saw that happen to her? Well, I didn't see it, but I heard it. I didn't want to see it because I didn't want to be traumatized. But I'm also kind of freaking out because I saw this movie called Final Destination where some people avoid dying in a plane crash and then they start dying in freak accidents. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us because my wife is dead, your son is dead, and I don't see your wife, so I'm assuming she's dead. Too. My wife might be dead? Yeah, probably. So I figure if we're gonna die anyway, we might as well die at the strip club, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen there? A stripper's ass is too fat and it engulfs my head and I suffocate? Or I'm sucking on titties and they're too fat and I suffocate? That sounds like a pretty good death to me, Marvin. Yeah, I guess the best place to die is a strip club. Yeah, exactly. So, um, how are we gonna get there? Well, we can take my car. No, no, no cars. There's a car accident in Final Destination 2 and it's horrible. A log goes through a windshield. No, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, um... Hmm. Do you have a bike? No, because then if the chain breaks, it might slit our throat, and I don't want to do that either. Why don't we just walk? No, no, because we could get hit by a car or lightning or another plane. No, it's no good. We can just call an Uber, right? Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I don't think death would kill an innocent Uber driver just to get to us. Good idea. Okay, let me call the Uber. Let me get my bowling ball. Wait, why are you bringing a bowling ball to a strip club? Because there's a bowling alley at the strip club, Marvin. It's called Tens and Pins, because you can look at Tens while you're knocking down pins. It's great. Oh, okay. <sighs> The Uber's almost here. Oh, plus when there is a rotten egg. No, 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 I'm going down there. Oh, no fair, I gotta roll my ball. I'm gonna make it to the Uber first. I'm not gonna be a rotten egg. Ow, 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 I'm gonna catch you, Marvin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 watch out. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would happen. Yeah, I am definitely in a Final Destination movie. I really gotta get to the strip club. Oh man, I am ready to die. Yes, I am. Oh, hey, what's your name? I'm Brooklyn Guy. Great, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for something to kill me. Oh my god, are you depressed? No, I'm in a pretty good mood. I just know I'm gonna die soon. Oh, is it like cancer? No, no, it's gonna be a freak accident. <gasps> are you a psychic? Well, maybe. I did have a vision earlier that helped me avoid a plane crash. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hey, can I give you money to do stuff to me? Sure, but I have to tell you, I have... Have HIV. Oh, there it is. That's how it's gonna get me. I'm looking death in the face. Yep, I can't cheat death twice. You know what? I don't even think I want to. This is how I die. Hey, no touching the lettuce. Oh, no, I paid. Oh, no! Fuck! No, not like this! Oh, come on! No, oh, it was supposed to be hot! I was supposed to die in the titties! It's not fair! Curse you, cruel death! <laughs> Okay, as a my question, have you ever almost died? Honestly, yeah, there's been um been two times I have almost died. Um first time was in a car crash when I drove without a license and I luckily managed to survive with one of my friends, but my I had a on my I have a mark on my mouth cuz I my tooth went right through my lip. I don't know if you guys can see it like right here uh you guys probably can't see it so uh but i can still feel the mark sometimes and uh, also i the second time i almost died was when i had pneumonia because i i had trouble breathing i i couldn't even eat or drink without with joy because it was so bad i had pneumonia for um for like for a while like like I thought I was just sick for for two days, and then it got worse within within a few more days, and I I literally went like to my grandma and my 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 grandma and my cousin and my close buddy and my and my uh, and my step grandpa. Like I said, I feel like I'm gonna die because I I barely could I was bar I was barely able to get up sometimes like. I was in pain when I had when I woke up and w got up out of bed. I couldn't catch my breath. Uh, even my even there were, there was one time I was in the bathroom and my because of how how hard it was for me to breathe. I my face was starting to turn red and purple a little bit and it wasn't even funny because of how hard it was for me to breathe, for me to breathe cuz and literally my it felt like I almost had it for a month, but 
there I get I had to get put on like three different medications just to make the pneumonia go away. And I the the, the, the other thing that's interesting is I don't know how I got pneumonia. Like I do not know how I got it. Like I didn't know how I got it at all, but but I I I had trouble breathing with my pneumonia and I and I I even there was also a third time I almost died actually and I had covid I I I I had trouble breathing at the time I I was depressed I was depressed I was starting to hate my life because of how what, of me having it um I ha I was I I I was able to eat and drink just fine but try but I also had multiple headaches and it wasn't even funny. You guys probably know how it is to have pneumonia and COVID. And you guys probably know how, how it is if you guys have ever been in a car crash like I have. But here's the thing. I was behind the wheel without a license. And the problem is um, I was trying to tell my friend I didn't want to turn into a turn into a parking lot. And technically if I wouldn't if my friend wouldn't have encouraged me to go into the parking lot and just stop driving where I was because I I didn't want to hit a curb or anything but I hit a street light first and then I went straight into a I wrecked, wrecked a man's yard and and went straight into a tree so that's the story of that so th those are three possible ways I've almost died since the time I've lived here at my grandma's house so that's the three times, and that's all the time I have for this episode. I will see you guys in the Left 4 Dead 2 gameplay tomorrow with playing The Parish, The Sacrifice, and No Mercy. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, punch the like button tomorrow until I believe you're strong. Put a comment down below if you guys love SML and fight your way to that subscribe button. And thank you everybody so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta la vista, baby. L. A. Night. Yeah.